So whether you've cheated on a test, planned to, or you've seen someone else cheat, I'm sure everyone has at least one good story about cheating. But this video is gonna be a little different. Okay, sixth grade students in my accelerated math class, time for you to take this very important math class today. Uh, Miss Quick, why are you talking like we don't know what class this is? Hmm. Oh, I see. So there was this one time I tricked the class cheater. <laughs> and it kind of felt good being so evil. <laughs> Victor A? D! So since school is in session for most of us in the states of Mickey D's and still legal memes, the only two things we're known for, I thought, how about I do a cheating in school video? Sounds like a totally original idea! Sounds original to me! Uh, who are you? And to keep it fresh, how about I do a cheating video on cheating the, the class, class cheater? <laughs> what a cheatsy idea. Um, seriously, who are you? So, this tale begins in my middle school days. In my MMORPG video, I briefly mentioned that I'm kind of baller at math, and no joke, up until high school, I was number one math nerd, math king. Nerd. Mathematical. Yay. With one exception, but as you guys know, that's for a different tale. But not only was I the best math kid since first grade, I skipped kinder, remember? All the other school subjects were kids played to me too. AKA, I probably spent too much time studying instead of being a kid with a soul. On top of that, here in the good old United States of opportunity, the only other thing we're known for. Advanced classes were offered in special magnet schools because they were so attractive to parents looking to brag about their kids. And my parents were definitely looking to brag about their kids. Oh, parents. So naturally, I ended up being placed in all the advanced classes. One of these advanced classes was an accelerated math class for special sixth graders. But somehow, people who seemed like they didn't deserve to be in the class still got in. Probably to fill seats to meet a quota. Check, check. Check. One of these people was a kid who was always called out for not paying attention. But weirdly, he was still pulling out decent grades on each test. Hmm, something doesn't add up. And well, that's because this kid was a known cheater in class. Yes, and since cheetahs are often lying, let's call him Otter. Cause he oughta study instead of cheating. Hey! Good joke! Every time we had to take a test, Otter's eyes always seemed to swim around onto other people's tests. And every time we got our test back, the sea creature that was drowning on a practice question the day before the test was getting at least a B. But the teacher never caught on to him, and since he never cheated off of me, personally, I didn't care. But it wasn't gonna stay that way forever. Halfway into the trimester, the teacher decides it's time for a seat change! Yeah! Which was a very common thing in most of our classes. So we all get scrambled up and guess which aquatic mammal washes up right next to me. That's right, it was Seal. Sup, dude? Seal? Seal? But right in front of me was the lion cheetah himself, Otter. So another month passes and boom, another test. Ms. Quick says this one is more important than usual since it's our first trimester final exam. A lot of words, a lot of words. And when teachers said exam to kids back then, you know it was more important than some measly old tests. This was an exam. So we all take the exam and I'm breezing through it. In fact, I'm actually racing a certain girl across the room to finish first. Still a different tale. But while I'm nailing this test, I notice Otter clearly stealing my answers. Like, come on, hide it better. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> well, well, well. <clears throat> Well, well, this is gonna be a notion of fun. <laughs> so being a smart kid, as established earlier in the video, I think of a devious, oh-so-mean idea. I don't even think about telling on him. Nope. Instead, I intentionally write wrong answers on the rest of the questions. I then turn it to face him and let him copy all the wrong answers. <laughs> All while I look out to make sure we don't get caught and my master plan works. Our desks were arranged in a way that made cheating much easier where we were in the middle row. So it wasn't much trouble. It's, it's working. working. I, I can't, can't believe, believe it. it. Finally, I let him turn in the test first and then I quickly erase the wrong answers and finish up right after. Sadly, I didn't get to finish the test before that girl, but tricking the class cheater was more than worth it. But... Is it really worth it? Okay, maybe I'm going too far here. Maybe he's just a troubled kid. Maybe he's a product of his own environment. His household's always fighting, which leads to him having to study outside or late at night when everyone's finally asleep. And more importantly, quiet. But his immediate group of friends aren't any help either. So instead of studying, he goes out to do drugs and vandalizes school buildings. When he finally gets home, he's too tired to study. So maybe he's relying on me to help him get through this exam and have a chance for a good future. Maybe, just maybe, he has to cheat. Eh, too bad I don't care. Me, Victor, in sixth grade middle school who only cares about math, grades, and playing games. And girls, but don't tell my friends they have cooties. His feelings don't matter to me. <laughs> So we all get our exams back a week later, and since math was my best and most favorite subject, of course, I end up getting a perfect score. And Otter got to flounder around with an F. But hey, I wasn't that mean. Otter got to fill in enough correct answers to get at least 50%, I think. I'm so generous. And luckily, being the end of the trimester, it was time for another seat change. Yeah. So I never found out if he was mad at me or thought I was secretly stupid or something. But most importantly, I didn't get beat up. <sighs> so that's how I tricked the class cheater, causing him to fail the very important math exam and maybe ruining the rest of his life, I don't know. So I guess the lesson here is if you're gonna be petty, like me, or cheat, like Otter, be smart about it. Or just not be petty or cheat at all, kids. But if we're being honest, tricking him still kind of feels good today. He deserved a 0%. So if you like this video, like it, would ya? I have some bad news about Discord people. I'm currently still learning how to run a server and finding people I can trust to mod for it. So for the time being, I'm postponing making a Victor Ace server, but there is some good news. I'm actually trying to make more videos for the rest of the year because I want to make something special at the end of the year. So expect more videos to show up soon, this month, next month, and December. But other than that, maybe check out the rest of my videos in one of these two playlists if you feel like binging. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!